Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today we found a lovely little church in this beautiful uh, village in Broomfield in Kent. You can see just across the road from the church is some beautiful little uh, old cottages. So join me as we uh, take a look. We'll uh, walk up to the church and see if it's actually open but uh, it's a beautiful walk up to the graveyard itself you can just see uh, the church on top of the hill there but it's a really lovely location I'm looking on the gate it's actually called St Margaret's in Broomfield What a picture, that is a picture perfect or postcard scene. There's beautiful daffodils leading right up to the front door of the church. Have a quick 360 around. Look at that, stunning. Big old yew tree. It's quite common in most graveyards. So those deaths are delightful. Every variation possible. Come in early May. Even around the perimeter. Full of daffodils. Birds are singing. Clearly nesting at the moment. Look at that beautiful facade, lovely castle -like tower, and that beautiful porch entryway, very typically Kentish. I'm hoping it's open, but I'm not sure. Oh, that is a shame. Here's to be closed. Oh, that's a great shame, but only we're here, so at least take a look around the graveyard itself and the area. Absolutely delightful. A shame it's closed. obviously one we're going to have to come back to at some point hopefully uh, find it open very old graves here um, can't make out any writing they're uh, far too old for that I say what a delightful place you see there, just over there, the valleys. Absolutely stunning. Isn't that lovely? It's sad, looks like 1867, aged nine months. Beautiful old graveyard. I mean, look at these. These are extremely old. There must be a, a family vault. Hmm. Coveney. It seems to be a common name. Um, those ones over there are Coveney as well. So, a big local family that's interred here and again another huge plot but uh, can't make out anything on that stone because it's far too degraded such a beautiful sight I 
take a look over the uh, the back end of the cemetery. You see, it's just miles and miles of open land and forest. Have a big old yew tree. Some uh, new interments here. Memory of Patricia, uh, Patricia Grace Fitzpatrick, February 2022, aged 80 years. God bless you. May you rest in peace. Lovely stone. It's the back end of the church. It really is a lovely little parish church. Quite a large graveyard. But as small as the parish is. Leads to a public footway by looks of it, across the farmer's fields. And again another one, James Nielsen Farnham, died April 2022, age 36, bless you. Oh that's a shame, do rest in peace. 32 year olds, 36 sorry, no age. And a lovely one here, look, Jonathan Dave McCarthy. Was barely a year old. An angel on earth, now a super angel in heaven. Now special boy whose courage, happiness and smiles touch so many of our love and thoughts are with you always, mum and dad. God bless you. May you rest in peace. Jonathan David McCarthy. How sad. It does make you think we come to so many cemeteries and just how young and some of the children that die does uh, make you a little upset for them and their families. What's that? It's a side elevation. It's a beautiful church, it really is. Well maintained. And it's such a lovely, lovely location. So I'm sorry we couldn't uh, get in to have a look. But it'll be on my list next time, I think. But uh, nevertheless, it was lovely seeing around the, the churchyard itself. I mean, look at this uh, yew tree here. It's so typical of uh, how they go. Look, it's, uh, it's as though it's been eaten halfway. For, like, it's all gnarly and twisted and... Quite beautiful. Alright, so let's avoid some walking on people's graves. So, as I say, I'm sorry we couldn't get in the church, but I hope you enjoyed at least looking around the outside and just picking up on some beautiful smells. I think it's the flowers or something, but. Uh, yeah, that was really nice.
this is exactly why I like looking around churchyards, beautiful little uh, churches tucked away like this. But thank you for joining me today. Please join me in the next one. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Thank you.